good everybody happy new year happy 2024 i am currently spending my my new year morning at the laundromat so while everyone was up last night shooting their guns shooting our fireworks um i was at the office rearranging everything uh moving my desk around trying to get a new setup and a new vibe for uh, certain content in a certain part of my office. I do want to paint, repaint that part of my office over, but I'm not going to do that right now because I have uh, content I do want to put out. And um, I told myself I was going to get back to vlogging. You know, I used to vlog all the time, like I think either last year or the year before last, I can't remember, but I'll put a couple of links maybe up here at the top where you can take a look at some of the, the vlogs I did in the past. And I kind of got out of it. I don't know why. It was a good way to release some, uh, you know, some of my thoughts and some things I'm going through. I wouldn't say going through right now, but you know, just some things I'm experiencing as far as in my, uh, my life and you know, where I'm at in my level of growth right now, as far as when it comes to doing what I love, which is creating things. So um, I'm trying so hard not to say content creator and all that tech influence. I hate those words because before those words came around, you know, we were just, you know, people who love to, you know, make art, take photos, do video, which is what I'm gonna touch on a lot today because that's where I'm gravitating towards more instead of photos, because I've been really big on photography my whole life and I love film also, but you know, I was my main focus wasn't on film, but now it is. So over the last few months, I've been buying more lighting and uh, just trying to up my inventory as far as lights, you know, because I do have a great understanding of how light can shape your images and it can shape your videos. Uh, also, if the audio is the bit loud, you have to excuse me. I am in a larger mat. There's like three TVs with the same news station on, so. It's quite annoying. I just heard one guy say it. And today we have a new blue crab that's supposed to be only located in Florida. Uh, if you do see this crab, you know, what did he say? This could be an endangerment. Of some, in so many words, he was basically saying like the crab could be an issue. So they had the crab on the little corner sitting on the, you know, on the sidewalk like, yo, what's up? You know what I mean? And uh, he's like, if you do spot these crab, please report it. Like, did you snitch on the crab? Like, come on, who going to call a reporter crab, bro? Yeah, happy new year, man. All right, and uh, so I forgot this is on my head. But yeah, so moving forward in 2024, I will be focusing more on film, more on DP work, more on cinema photography. And, you know, that's my goal right now. I'm more into, my passion now is more into creating films, more or less taking photos. You know, I've got to the point now with photos, I'm just bored and I need a new challenge and, photog and film will probably be that challenge. And uh, going back to me buying a lot of lights, when I was real heavy in photography, I understood clearly that the more lights and the better light shapes, shapers I had and uh, modifiers, anything like that, when it comes to photography, it really made my photography stand out. And it's the same way with film. A lot of people don't understand anything, you know, buying the best camera or um, knowing how to edit, which is really, you know, two parts of the equation. I would probably say lens is more than the camera because I was shooting with the like T2i for years, but I had really good lenses and it really brought my images, you know, that it really gave my images that quality look. But same way in film, you really need great light to, you know, shape, you know, your visuals and make them bring, you know, make them come to life. You know, it creates depth, you know, it creates a mood or uh, anything folks emotions and that's what you want with great lighting so over the last few months you know if you check out my channel I've been doing reviews on some lights I've been buying aperture has been my go-to right now because I really love the way their lights look you know I can film something on a camera with aperture lighting and pull it in the post-production Adobe Premiere and barely have to do that much color correction I'm like yo this is some really great light Outside of that, you know, some of the challenges I'm having is finding like good people to work with. I am in Savannah, Georgia right now. And I must say it is very dismal and it's very, you know, maybe I'm not looking in the right places, but um, I don't know. I do know when it comes to reaching out to my people, you know, it, it, it's a no-go. Cause you know, you hear the same stuff, you know, I'm busy or, I'm too shy. You know, a lot of people I notice in Savannah are like super either they're too shy or too timid or, or they're just scared. You know, they don't want to step out there and get in front of the camera. You know, Savannah's more of a 
if I post pictures or videos, it's like of us out in the family or standing in front of the yard. You know, if it's a female, it's, it's mostly when they're on the trips at Cabo or Mexico, the same stuff. You know, Miami on a cruise, you know, or cooking in the kitchen or the kids, you know. And in my new job, you know, I've reached out to so many people who, quote unquote, you know, were in my field or did stuff in my field, whether it's hair or they sing or they do makeup or act or whatever. But when it came down to doing a do, it was like crickets, you know? So I noticed that if I really need proper talent, I just need probably just reach out to an agency, which lets me know I need to get my money up. And I mean, because that's the only way, you know, I'm gonna be able to afford these type of models. You know, I'm not in LA, you know, so the closest I probably can land, you know, solid talent is probably Atlanta or New York. So that's another reason I've been really amping up these videos because I have to get monetized so I can create some type of extra revenue so I can pay, you know, proper actors and pay proper models and pay proper, you know, makeup artists and hairstylists and wardrobe stylists and set designers and gaffers and ADs and second ADs and, you know, I can't continue to do everything by myself and that's pretty much what I'm doing, you know. I'm, even in my office, you know, I'm setting up the lights by myself, you know, sandbagging everything. I'm, I have to put a mannequin in front of the camera to adjust the focus, just to find that sweet spot and then move the mannequin and step in that mannequin spot, you know, so I could be focused on myself. You know, I have to use my cell phone as a monitor so I can watch what I'm doing and make sure I'm filming myself correctly. And I'm probably gonna do some tutorials on that to show you guys how you can do that, you know, if you're by yourself, because a lot of people get depleted and de defeated when it comes to their dreams of creating because it's only them. And they're, and they're like, I can't do this by myself, but I've been doing it by myself for a long time. And I can show you guys like, you know, what I'm doing and also, you know, try to motivate you guys to not quit because even though I face a lot of challenges on the help side, you know, I'm not gonna quit. You know, this is what I love doing. It, it brings me peace, it brings me joy. You know, uh, I love creating. I, I have so many thoughts and ideas that I have written down. And I use a software called Notion. Um, Notion is really awesome. It's a productivity app. And I'm able to write down all my app, I mean, all my ideas and all my thoughts. And even if I can't get to them, you know, each week, you know, I have them written down so I don't forget. You know, today, the first day, I was supposed to do a video on, um, Monday is gonna be called Mimic Mondays on my channel. You know, I actually have a schedule every single week of like every day. There's gonna be a theme for that day of what I wanna teach or what I wanna post on, on my channel. Mondays are called Mimic Mondays. Tuesday is gonna be called Tips and Tricks Tuesdays. Wednesdays is what What's Wednesdays. It's basically talking about what's new, what's hot, what's trending, you know, et cetera. Uh, Thursdays, it's gonna be, um, uh, I can't remember what Thursday is. Let me see if I got Wi-Fi in here. Maybe I have it on my uh, second phone. So Thursday is gonna be like Thursday reviews. So reviews will be on Thursdays of new product, you know, photography, you know, filmmaking, new equipment. And Fridays, <coughs> Fridays gonna be called Behind the Lens, where we talk about uh, fashion films, short films, you know, what, go, what goes on behind the scenes, right? And Saturday is gonna be full speed Saturdays where I'll post some speed art videos or some storytelling. And um, Sunday is gonna be my vlogs, which would have been yesterday, but I'm vlogging today because I didn't have a chance to work on my Monday video, which should have been should have been posted today. And you know, it, it. I mean, outside of like just coming up with the concepts, which is like kind of easy on my end because I have so many ideas. It's just putting the camera up and filming. I know this is like always an issue. You know, it's always some, I won't say a distraction, but it's a procrastination when it comes to getting stuff done. You know, especially with me, with the holidays and my new job, I've been working 50 to 60 hours a week. So when I get off, it's a fight to keep my body up because my body is like, want to sleep. And especially if I hit the gym, you know, so I'm fighting like fatigue, sleep, you know, trying to get my mind to rest from dealing with, you know, certain type of people at the job and that being like a wear on you. And even though I work only like three to four days a week, I pick up extra shifts because I want to make extra cash so I can buy more equipment to do reviews on and to increase my inventory. So it's like a balance. It's like work extra shifts, make more money so you can buy equipment or work less days and spend more time with the equipment you got and focus on more videos. But with inflation right now, it's almost like, you know what, just go ahead and work the hours and get what you need. And when it simmers down, at least you have the equipment and the time to, to, to kick back a little bit and 
and you know make more film. So it's a balancing act. Some weeks I just you know, like, you know what, I'm just gonna do three to four days this week, and I'm gonna get some rest and focus on some content. Cause even if I can't film and edit, well, if I can't film, well, how can I say this? Even if I can't edit, at least I can film it. And at least if I can't film it, I can at least write down my concepts and get them written down and just, you know come up with a game plan. So when I do have time to film, I can go ahead and film and knock that out. Some days I'm like, no, I'm not filming anything. I'm just gonna edit the footage that I already shot and go ahead and, and prepare to get that uploaded to the internet. So um, I would love to have a video out every single day of the week. That would be my dream. And uh, But you know, that comes with time, I guess, you know. I'm a, I can't say I've been way more consistent uh, leading up to the end of the year with my filming. And I'm proud of myself. I've been doing more on the film side. And with the likes I've been purchasing, it's really up the quality of my videos. I don't know if you've been seeing some of my recent videos. The, the video quality looks way better, and it's because of the lighting, you know, which is very key. So with the more lights I buy, the better the quality of my work looks. And I will focus on other stuff that I really want, like a better, I want a, I want a cinema camera. I don't have a cinema camera. I am shooting all of my work on this old Sony A6300. I know people are probably like, what? A6300, yes. But same way with photography, I was always shooting with it. A Canon T2i for like years. And I just got better lenses. So in my situation right now, until I could get, you know, the cinema cameras that I want, you know, the Reds, the Komodo, all that type of stuff, you know, the um, the better cinema lenses, you know, with the uh, manual focus lens, cinema lenses. Until I could get there, I had to work with the camera I got. I'm currently shooting on the Insta360 Go 3, which I love. I'm gonna use this when I go to the gym after this. But until then, what I've learned, I'm, I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing now. And that's what I've been doing when I was with photography. And that's what I learned that work what you got until you get what you can, you know? So I know that I can produce good looking footage with quality light and quality lighting. I would say it'll be more on the inexpensive side compared to cameras and lenses, which are up in like two, three, four, five thousand dollar range, where I could get lights under five, six hundred bucks. And the more lights I have, I can make my footage look like, you know, with like certain softwares, like what I'm using right now is Dehancer. Yeah, shout out Dehancer too. I'll put the promo code also in the description. You get guys get 10% off using my promo code for uh, the film emulation uh, software that I use for some of my, my projects, which gives you that film look. So like Dehancer and, and Adobe, you know, um, I can kind of, you know, do some post-production to the point that it actually looks, you know, like film. Or, you know, as long as it's not going on Netflix or Amazon Prime, I'm not worrying about it. My whole focus is, you know, make sure I get some content out there as far as on the film side and make sure it's great and good and it looks, you know, proper enough to be shown. So, but that's what I'm going through right now. I appreciate all the new followers on the channel. My channel has it's, it's growing and people are calm anymore. And that's the goal this year is to get monetized because, you know, even now all my money goes to my equipment. You know, I don't take trips. You know, I, I don't go out to eat like that. You know, I, I'm, I'm so invested in my business and my craft. You know, my money goes to outside of food and gas and bills. It goes to my, my craft, so my equipment. So new lenses, new cameras, all that stuff can really help out. But what really can help out is if my channel gets monetized. So uh, you guys spreading the word, leaving comments the way you're doing, liking the videos uh, can really help out. So I can get some extra revenue in to, to get more things and to create more things and you know get some wardrobe in for like certain actors. When I, I money for actors, you know, and models, you know, I want to do a lot of cosplay stuff, you know, and I have so many ideas for like Unreal Engine and you know, virtual production. I mean, it's just so much stuff that I really want to do on the, the production side, especially for like black creators, because most of the black creators I see online are just mostly shooting models. And on the TikTok, Instagram side, it's, it's not, if it ain't the Instagram model, it's the skits, you know, the, the same skits we see all the time, like the gold digger skit and the two people in the car skit, the two people in the apartment skit, you know, it's, it's kind of old to me. I mean, the type of stuff that I really want to do to inspire black creatives, you know, it needs funding. So if you guys know anything that could probably help out, whether it's grants or anything or any avenues or, or people who, who's looking to create and collab that's in around the Savannah area or Atlanta area or South Carolina, Jacksonville, I guess if we got to travel to make something happen, that's cool too. But uh, that's where we're at right now, going into 2024. 
And I'm excited, honestly. You know, even though I couldn't get today's video out, um, when I leave her and hit the gym, I am gonna go knock out some more work that I did plan to shoot. For Tuesday, I think I'm, I'm gonna post a video for tomorrow if I can get edited. I did pick up a shift tonight, so I'm gonna see how that goes. And uh, plus this video right here, I'm probably gonna edit when I get back from the gym and post online. And uh, I signed up with Artlist, so I'm gonna be using their music from now on. And uh, I'm still gonna be using a lot of stuff from uh, Envato Elements. So this isn't a sponsored video, but just some uh, some golden nuggets you know artlist does have some great music and if you want to share your music online without being copyrighted that's probably the route you want to go and bottle elements also has music also but i do know artlist kind of has more it kind of sounds more updated you know and bottle elements kind of sounds more i don't know it's kind of hard to say but bottle elements does have some elements that you know if you want to use on the after effects side or they have stock photos and stock videos that's a really great source to go to so maybe i should just do a video on like a lot of websites that i go to to use for like resources yeah so um i'm gonna go check on my washer man i don't want to make this long and drawn out i'm pretty sure some more things i want to talk about but i am going to get more into vlogging but it's supposed to be for sundays but Man, I don't know. I might just do one whenever I just feel like venting. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. But that's the goal. You know, more filming, more short films. Definitely more short films. One, at least one to three minute short films. And uh, we're gonna fight to see if we can get in some some festival films, some film festivals this year. That's the goal. And with you guys' support, we can get it, man. We can we can most definitely get it. So I'm not gonna hold you guys up. I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys not following me on uh, any other social platform, just it's, it's the same name, Mr. Mydell, Mr. M-Y-D-E-L-L, -L, and Will Mydell. So either or, you can find me on TikTok and Instagram, uh, Facebook, and you guys can check me out, and I will see you guys later. And you guys have a happy new year, and if you're hungover, go get some sleep, and if you got to work, you know, have a uh, productive day today, and I'll talk to you guys later. I appreciate it.